Hello guys, this is my first video of Starving Artist. Today, we'll give tips on how to improve and make more Robux. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So first, I'll talk about the auction arts. These arts can help you sell for a lot. Most people sell these for 1000 and 2500 Robux. I recommend saving up 30k art coins if you want one for cheap. The lower the serial number on the art, the most likely someone wants to buy it. Also, the middle auction art can be sold for way more, but it's also the most expensive to buy with art coins. The arts change weekly, and the best way to get art coins is by buying arts or just by playing starving artists. I recommend going a FK when you go somewhere it helps with getting more art coins. I'm going to give a tip on drawing now. I'll show you how to do backgrounds like this. Choose any color you want. Press on the big brush. And now, we'll show you how to do shading. Scroll all the way to the right until you see darken. If you press on a part multiple times, it will get darker each time. You can even drag it around multiple times so the colors will look in a different shade in random places. You also have the lightning tool so you can make a brighter shade. You can make yourself made art, very expensive just for display. It can show your work. If you ever want to make custom arts for people, for some Robux, let's talk about pricing now. I prefer making a game pass because it's free. If you want to make a t-shirt, it will cost 10 Robux. Make sure to have enough game passes so you can make the price more accurate. Every time you buy an art, the value will add up. If you buy an art for 10 or 15 Robux, you could sell it for 43 Robux, cause you will get 30 Robux from it because of taxes. So you will have a profit of 15 or 20 Robux. Now, let's talk about frames and effects. Don't waste too much Robux on these because you can better use it on auction. So I recommend buying only one effect and frame per art. Make sure to have a good description on your booth to show what you do or what you are gonna use the Robux on. Let's talk about the store. So you can buy art coins, it will help a lot on auction arts. If you buy VIP you will get a VIP tag, rainbow brush, an exclusive castle booth, and two times luck. With frame colors you can make your frame in any color. I will show you an example. As you can see, the frame color is purple. Then there are four booths you can buy. With the radio, you can put music in your booth. I'll show you guys what the Dono Finder does, because I have it. It will bring you to a server, where people donated a lot, but sometimes it can be much, sometimes it doesn't. As you can see, I found a server with some people that donated. Now, I'll show you how to get more tags. You can get it by season. Or by buying enough. This is how much bot you need to have for each tag. You can also get to see animations when you bought enough arts. As you can see here, this person has an art that's really cheap. And you can resell them to make a bit of profit. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. Did you guys really think I was about to end the vid without donating to people? Hell, no. Hello guys, make sure to give me some video ideas in the comments below. If you got any more questions, I'll try to respond as fast as possible. And thanks for watching.